flow accumulation will calculate how many cells drain into each cell. And we can kind of see this in figure 2.1.1.48G, how this might be done. So we see here a value is assigned to each cell based on how many cells drain to that cell. So over here we have a 0 because nothing drains to that cell. We have a 3 over here because this one, this one, and this one drains to that cell. And we can begin to see how many, like for example, this one here has 15 draining to it. And what this is going to help us do is we can then specify using flow accumulation tool which cells are classified as streams or rivers and which are not. The National Elevation data set uses the value of 5,000 cells, meaning if a cell has a value less than 5,000 cells, it is considered surface runoff. Most of the NED data sets are about 30 meter resolution. In our particular example, our data is at a 2 meter resolution since we're using LiDAR. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my ARC toolbox and I'm going to navigate to train to the ARC Hydro tools and then to the train pre-processing tools and I'm going to look for the flow accumulation tool and I'm going to drag and drop that over here underneath my flow direction. And what I'm actually going to do with my model builder is I'm just going to kind of pan this up. My model's getting quite large. Because I just want to look at the bottom half, since that's the half that I'm actually working on right now. So I'm going to delete this FDR, and I'm going to use my connect tool, and I'm going to connect this FDR to the flow accumulation as an input flow direction grid. And then I'm going to right click and choose open. And I want to make sure that my output flow accumulation grid is going to end up in my geo database. And I want it to end up in my geo database as FAC. And once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then I'm going to right click on my flow accumulation and choose run. Once it's done, I'm going to go ahead and click close, and then in my data frame, I'm going to drag and drop it right on top of my FDR, and we can begin to see where some of these drainage lines are occurring. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. And we can see where the lines are very, very dark, very bold, that those are places where there is a lot of cells accumulating there. And where the lines are very, very light in color, there isn't as many cells accumulating there. So this is a raster still.